Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy! Where's the whiskey? I need to go and find a whiskey! More whiskey! I need more whiskey. Alright, let's take you, Twilight Saboteur, and I'll take you, Twilight Saboteur. Uh, I'm supposed to be killing six of these. I hope to be able to do this quite quickly, actually. They seem fairly soft. They're spongy. Because they're spellcasters, that's why. Right. Highland sheep cheese. Maybe it's because you eat that stinky stuff that uh, you, you're not so good at the whole combat thing. Have you ever considered that? Have you ever considered that that might be the reason that you're not so good at the whole combat thing? I need a target. It's just, just, I just, just want to put that out there for you. Right, so there's that subject. I'm going to go this way and we'll gather up a couple of these. I'll take you as well. Put that down just to make sure they've got their attention. I'll take that one as well. Make sure I got that one's attention. And then I'll drop these over here. Right, so they're doing mind blasts and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, someone over there has already gone and captured the dude we're after. We need to... Uh, yeah, someone, else, someone else is working on that. That means that we're going to have to come back to it in a minute. Let's see if we can find this whiskey. We've got whiskey that we do. The second thought, take one more prisoner. Uh, more not the hateful. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're just kind of suspending him there. Where's the whiskey? I need to find whiskey. Got to find it somewhere. Bottle of, where am I going to get the bottle of whiskey? Um, bring him the bottle of whiskey. Right. I need to find whiskey. I don't see any here, though. I don't want to drop down through there because, uh, yeah, there's, there's there's bad things down. Actually, I, I, I'm just likely to drop down through the floor, which I don't think is going to be helpful. But what we can do is I can fly while I'm in here, I've just realized. So let's go this way. Ah, there, more rock the hateful. So I can, I can go and subdue him again as set. We'll, we'll go and do that bit a minute. There. Right, I will subdue him, and then when we've subdued him, we can uh, then keep looking for the wheel. We've got to find his bottle of whiskey for this guy. He's, he's got this gut wound. He's not going to last much longer, so we we really need to... It's his final wish, and the guy is doing everything he can to keep this ship from crashing. Okay, okay, I give up. I'll tell you everything. Really? You better. Wait. You can't do this. You people must have a code of honor or something. Gotcha. Oh, uh, wait. What? I hope you can fly, Pipsqueak. Is this your code of honor? Over here, you ugly whale. <laughs> she got him. You let me go now. Wait, no. <sighs> Don't let go! Meet me back up top. <laughs> this two-headed freak has a few questions to answer. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be very nice to him. I don't think she's going to be very nice to him at all. It was delivered to the Forge Master at Deathwing's Fall. I swear, that's all I know. Right, we'll leave that, and I'm going to get on a mount, because otherwise, you know, we, we could fall down through here. I don't really want to fall down through there, but I need to find this whiskey. Where do I find this bottle of whiskey? That's, that's the, the next thing I'm, I'm after at the moment. Right, uh, there. It's, it's not one of those that we can just kind of mark up, either. That makes it more difficult. More Trixie. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. Where's the whiskey? There's none there. Uh, I'm looking around here. Do you know where it is? Maybe I'll tell you what. If we speak to him a second, maybe he knows where this is. King's honor, friend. Bottle of whiskey. 
Quest item. Be careful. Unique. Right. A unique quest item. Hmm. I don't know where to go. I need, I need to try and find this whiskey. Right. It's obviously it's, it's not on it's not on the top deck, so it's obviously down here somewhere. As soon as you get below decks, you need albino drake. All right, should be all right to use this one. Is there something maybe up here that I missed the first time round? I know I've got all of those guys running around. Ah, there. Right, I missed it. it was on that table. Okay. I need a target. Let's take these guys out a minute. It was right there on the table. It may have been that we missed it because the other guy who was here, he, he may have picked it up first. But we've got it now. We have got the bottle of whiskey. We'll take that one down. Take it down. I'm going to take this guy down and then we'll grab that bottle of whiskey. The bottle of whiskey is what we need. That's just what the, the, the guy up there needs. And what he wants, he gets. He's... He's, he's nearing his end, and, and bad things are going on right there. I'm going to leave that Twilight Saboteur, although he takes damage every time he hits me, so he's likely to just keep chasing me all the way up through to the top. He might give up. He's done an old mind blast there. Has he given up? No, they never do, do they? Not, not... They only ever give up when I don't want them to. If I don't want them to, if I want them to keep chasing me, they don't. They, they, they do give up fairly quickly and easily. Uh, if I want them to give up, then they will follow me and follow me and follow me. There we go. You have what I asked for. All right. Help get me tied to the wheel. Moody sips from the bottle. Go with honor, friend. Thanks. This will give us a couple more hours of not running into the rocks. No guarantees after that. Torvald says, congratulations on level 88. We're halfway through level 88 already. This is not taking very long at all. We will soon be level 89. All right, let me just jump off of there. All right, Stormcaller Maira. I was born to fly. Well done, Grondorn. The Twilight's Hammer is an evil that we must fight anywhere we find them. Oi, this was a heavy one. You nearly broke my griffin's back. Are you ready to interrogate the ogre, Grondorn? May the ancestors watch over you. Hop on, Grondorn. Let's see what Mr. Ogreface has to say for himself. Don't be shy. Stormbeak's only ever dropped a couple of dropped the passenger a couple of times before. <laughs> okay. Really sure what to do about that then. Uh Let's, let's, let's hop on to Stormbeak. Come on in, Stormbeak. What are we doing? We, we, we're we're going to drop Mornarok the Hateful over here. Oh. Well. All right, Sunshine. Time that's... to spill your guts before I spill them for you. That's an interesting interrogation method. Wait. You can't do this. You people must have a code of honor or something. <laughs> I'm a daughter of the Wildhammer clan, and a shaman of the Earth and Ring. My code compels me to honor my ancestors and the elements. Yeah, I, I think... say a damn thing about dog ugly ogres. Stop it, you tiny angry woman! <laughs> I'll tell you everything! What do you want to know? Stop, you tiny angry woman. <laughs> <laughs> you can start by telling us where the world pillar fragment is. My griffin's starting to look a wee bit tired from hauling you around. <laughs> it was delivered to the Forge Master at Deathwing's Fall. I swear, that's all I know. Happy now? Pull me up, you vicious little dwarf. Ah, oh, you are never in any danger, sweetheart. My friends down below would have caught you. You're worth far too much to us alive. What? What have you done? No! <laughs> do you have any idea what the Twilight Council will do to me when they find out I've talked? I would sooner die! Oh. Interesting. I've never heard of the Twilight Council. Until now. Okay, so he, 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 he wanted us to haul him up, but then at the same time, he decided to jump into it anyway. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, it, it does that. It sort of freezes up a bit. It, it struggles with this up here because of the way the ship is constantly moving around in a circle. So if you go off of the ship, um, it, it can freeze up and do some strange things sometimes. Right. I was born to fly. We have our answers, Grondorn. Let's report back. I just picked up the questioning axe. Let's just have a look at that a second. These one-handed dodge and crit. Wow, actually, that's. I mean, the dodges. I mean, it's, it's not. As, it's not better than the one we got, and we do want to stick with a hammer. But still, that would have been nice. Um. Uh, oh, excuse me. You must get word back to the others at the temple. Chances are the fragment is already getting moved to a more secure location. Tell Marut what you know. I'm going to do a little investigating about this Twilight Council in the meantime. Right. We have our orders and she has hers. Hers? Hers. She has hers. We will head off down this way. So we want to go right back down. Wait, what's that? Diamant the Patient. Remember what he does. I'm sure he has purpose. Speak to Marut, Stonebinder, at the Temple of Earth in Deepholm. And then we've also got the uh, Stonehearth's Aid. That one is all the way out over that side. So we're going to go back into the temple first, and we're going to turn these in. We've got Feldspar the Eternal over there. There's more of those wandering around. There's these giant element. I don't remember what happens with the giant elementals. I've only ever done the complete quest chain, the story chain, in here once. And it was a very, very long time ago, so, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't remember a lot of it. Let's slide down here. Ah, oh, I've been expecting you. We must investigate your findings further, but we must not lose track of the fragment. The Twilight's hammer involvement in the disappearance of the World Pillar fragment makes complete sense. Let us hope we can, swift we can act swiftly enough to recover it. Marut places his hand on your shoulder. I've established a spiritual bond with you. We should be able to communicate while you remain in Deepholm. Go to Deathwing's Fall to the southeast and investigate the Twilight's Hammer operation there. Go in peace. How close do I need to get to this? We survive. When Deathwing escaped to Deepholm, his corruption was extreme, but perhaps not yet absolute. The cultists at Deathwing's fall harvest and shape the corrupted blood he left behind into living organisms to draw from their power. What if a trace of the Earth Warder's essence remains? After all, Neltharion was the aspect of Earth before he was the aspect of death. Gather samples from the living blood the cultists have created, and we'll see if any trace of the earth water remains. Luck to you. This is an interesting approach. Let's see if it works. All right, I've got turn in over here. No, not that way. Turn in over here a minute. And these two right here. Hmm, interesting. You did it. You found out that what the Twilight's Hammer were up to, and you stopped them dead in their tracks. Maui gets up on her tippy toes and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Now I'm certain I have something around here for you. She begins rummaging around for your reward. So we can have that one right there, which is a holy specialization, which we don't want. And we got that one right there, which gives us 18 parry, but we lose everything else. So we'll take that one because it's most valuable. That pyramid at the Maker's Terrace in Uldum is nothing of the sort. It's a giant machine that can be reconfigured for any number of uses. Deathwing is going to have the Twilight's Hammer turned into a massive weapon. Grondon, you have got to take the portal to get this information to Harrison Jones in Stormwind. He'll know what to do. You have a great day now. All right, we'll what do that. What can I do for you? Ask the old spirit. <laughs> one less nasty in this world what the, that the little ones will have to worry about when they go to sleep at night. Not to mention that we won't have to be worrying about him none no more neither. Now, let's see here. I think we have something in our crates that will make a fitting reward for you. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon. Right. Before we go off anywhere else, I think we should go back to Stormwind and we will see Harrison Jones because 
I like Harrison Jones. Anything to do with Harrison Jones, I think, is absolutely brilliant. We've done the majority of the quests now that are to do with Harrison Jones, unfortunately. It was that Oldham was, like, the big thing with Harrison Jones. It was a bit what we did in Grizzly Hills. Um, and then you got Oldham, and unfortunately, I think that's about it. I don't think there is any more whole zones that involve Harrison, which is ultimately rather disappointing. I would like there to be entire another entire zone where we can follow another story. Because that one was the Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I'd like another. I'd like all the other Indiana Jones stories to be done as well. It would be quite cool. If it's truth you're interested in, Cuddy Nordlinger's philosophy class is right down the hall. So if you get any ideas you've got about Lost City's exotic travel and digging up the world, 70% of all archaeology is done in the library. Research, reading. You cannot afford to take mythology at face value. Lana. Dubing flutters her eyelashes at Harrison Jones. Ahem. <clears throat> well, uh, uh, next week, Tanaris, starting with the excavation of Broken Pillar by Marvon Rivetseeker in year 22. I'll be here doing research if anybody's got any problems for the next hour and a half. You need something? Are you here to train in archaeology? Oldham? What about it? Have a good one. Wait, what? Hey there. Is that it? Is that all? Seriously? Right, we can train Grand Master Archaeology and Zen Master Archaeology. We can't train Drenor See Archaeology yet. So we've got quite a lot of archaeology all trained up. But there's nothing else to train up. So let's, uh... Should we head back? What's this? Oh, that's the Cenarian Emissary. That's, I think that's the, the first quest that takes you to Hygel, actually, up there. And... Okay. What are you? That is very cool looking. I don't know what that is, but I want one. I definitely want one. Well, I don't know if that's a pet or if that's something different. I, I genuinely have no idea, to be honest. Um, so you've got a choice now. We can either half back or we can just come down here to this portal zone right here and jump straight into Deep Holm like that. So, yeah, this is it's actually easier and quicker if we just do that. And that drops you in front of the portal right there from Stormwind. So next up, we got the Blood of Neltharion. Deathwing's Fall Reached. Why do I need to go to... Why do I need to go to Deathwing's Fall? Can't remember now. Right. A living blood. And a living blood. And a living blood down there. And we'll put that down. So I should have three of them coming after me. And then I got one up there as well. I don't need five of these all together. That's all I need. It's just that there it is. There's number five. You just go and grab that one. There, number five. Okay, hopefully these five should all just stay here and keep attacking me. You, you just keep attacking me just like this. We'll, we'll fight this out in, in right in this pit of red. And yeah, I'm not going to get hurt a little bit. No, nope, actually, I'm going to be fine. I don't have I'm going to be absolutely fine. We will run that through the shield, and then I'll hit you, and then I'll hit you, and we're done. There. Right. Blood of Neltharion. Okay, I've picked up five bloods of Neltharion. Deathwing's Fall. We want to head up here towards Deathwing's Fall. I'm not quite sure what it is that we're going to discover up here. But this right here, if you go and if you've watched the trailer, this is the bit that you want to see. This bit right here features in the actual trailer right here. And it is very, very cool. It honestly is. This must be where the World Pillar Fragment was brought. Let's have a closer look. The Twilight's Hammer are wielding foul magic here, Grundon. They animate and energize the remains of Deathwing's blood so that instead of drying out and disappearing, it thrives and becomes more abundant. Take out any of the blood shape. Take out one of the blood shapers. See if they have any clues as to where we can find this Forge Master. Um. Right, where are these guys? There, Twilight Hammer Blood Shaper, right there. Come over here and I land down there. Oh, 
just, no, just take you down like that. There we go. Right, now I'll run back over this way over here. Like I that. Need to get closer. Alright. I'll run a bit further away. Make him make him run to me. There. And then hit him with a shield. And now he's gotta run down a lot closer to me. And and then I can I can um, wallop him because he's soft and squidgy. He's only got cloth. I'm not a cloth wearer. Twilight orders. We must make haste if to rebuild the world, Pillar Grundon. They're keeping slaves here? We ought to free them regardless, but perhaps they might also aid us in finding the... It, perhaps they might also aid us in finding the Forge Master. According to the orders you found, there is a key inside the tent in the southwest and southeastern end of Deathwing's Fall. Obtain it and free the slaves in the quarry to the south. Right. Where? Is, is this the tent? There's a tent right here. This is actually... This, this is the only tent. Oh, there's the chest. Right. I'm looking at these two thinking, well, where's the chest? I'm looking right at it. But no, it was, it was just, just the wrong angle there, wasn't it? And then we want to head over that way and we want to free these slaves. Ah, look. Wow. Okay, th there's a lot of poor wretched creatures here. Enslaved miners. Thank you. I wish I could help you find the Forge Master. Forge Master's a terrible murderer. Are you sure you want to go looking for him? Uh, yeah, I'm quite sure. Elemental Overseer right here. I can soon dispatch an Elemental Overseer. He's, he's, he's just really, he's just a big pussycat, really. Look at him. Look, see, he's, 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 he's so, so sweet, so wonderful. There's nothing to worry about there. All right, let's free you, enslaved miner. Ah, yes, I know about the Forge Master. I just overheard that he's not in the camp right now. What about you? Are you going to help? The Forge Master is meeting with the Twilight leadership. Trust me, I traded some gossip for a loaf of stale bread. Alright. I'm hoping you've got that right. What about you? I don't know nothing about no Forge Master. Now tell me where this, sa this safe place you came from is. Right, well he wasn't much use. Not really at all. I've got one more that I need to try and find. I also want to try and avoid that guy there. So let's let's go over the top and we'll free him. There, I heard Forge Master keeps notes about his meetings in a book at the tower overlooking the camp. Let us find his journal. We're getting close to the world pillar fragment. I can sense it. Go to the tower the slave spoke of. You should find it on the northeastern end of the camp. If we can act fast enough, we might be able to eavesdrop on the Forge Master's meeting. Right, northwestern end is up here. There's a tent up here somewhere that we want to get to. Somewhere. Where? Ah, right. There it is. Okay, I need to get up onto there. There's an entry for an upcoming upcoming meeting at the Upper Silver Marsh. This must be where the Forge Master is. Excellent work, Grundorn. We know exactly where the meeting location is. The Upper Silver Marsh is a mercury swamp to the east of here. It is normally only inhabited by elementals and the occasional stone trogs, but our scouts have seen some twilight activity in the region. Make your way there, and let's find a way to eavesdrop on the Forge Master's meeting. So who's that there? Twilight Bloodsmith. We'll, we'll just just leave him. I'll leave him be. And we've got the blood of the earth water. So let me have a look. That's the... And that's that one down there. I think we'll head back and we'll turn in the other one first. And then we'll come... We'll, we'll sort of... Because that might send us back up this way for another quest. So I'm going to half there. I'm going to boogie on back with the Great Father Winter's Hearthstone. Two of all. Sorry, I had to. Another pineapple pizza. What is it with you people and the pineapple pizzas? I'm, you know what? I'm making, I'm making an announcement. I am making a guild announcement right now. Like this. Message of the day. Click to edit.
Pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is being declared illegal. Anyone found in possession or distributing said pizza will suffer the wrath of Frithgar. Let it be known. From this day forth, that will be the punishment for pineapple pizza. I hope you all realize this. I, I, I didn't want to do it, but I had More to. Stranger. You return, Grandorn. Did you obtain the blood? There is still great power present in his blood, Grundorn. I can sense it even now. Yet there is also much corruption. I am not sure we can salvage the Earthwater's essence from this. See you. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, well, in which case, we need to go back to the Upper Silver Marsh, then. Upper Silver Marsh is around here. I think this is actually, yeah, this is the Lower Silver Marsh down here. So if we head to the upper Silver Marsh, that would be this bit up here. I've now got my pets thing fixed. You can see I have logged out and logged back in again. And here we go. We can go over here. So this is the place. Our scouts confirmed the presence of high-ranking Twilight officers nearby, as well as potential trog hunting parties. Be on the lookout, Grundorn. The trogs in Deepholm have proven to be every bit as hostile as the ones in Azeroth. Yet perhaps their presence will prove useful to our efforts. The crates they use for trawling through the mercury will conceal you perfectly if you submerge yourself beneath the marsh. Use it to approach the Twilight ha Twilight's Hammer Camp in the eastern end of the Upper Silver Marsh undetected. Okay, we've got to get one of those trog crates right there, and then we've got to use it to approach the camp somewhere. Over that way, over there. But no, first of all, just have a look. Look at all of these pets that we've got to get. The tiny shale spider, that one is a drop from a creature called Jade Fang here in this zone. And then Pebble, you do that one as a series of quests that you've got to do and some achievements to be able to get it. And I've never actually gone through and done those, but all the rest of these... Our pets that we can earn in this zone, and there are absolutely loads of them. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Maybe we should. Maybe we should give in and, and try and get just a couple of them. Amethyst, Shale, Hatchling, right there. I don't have any Amethyst, Shale, Hatchling. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make sure that we have everything... They are already up to full health, that is good. Okay. Full of it. There we go. Boom! And we have our very first... <gasps> <laughs> oh, I cannot... Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoy it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.